In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change AutoCAD 2023 to Classic Mode. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. Before I start teaching you the process of reverting AutoCAD back to Classic Mode, I do want to make two quick disclaimers. The first one is that, as you can clearly notice, I am on AutoCAD 2024. Do not worry, the process that I'm going to show you in this video is going to work for AutoCAD 2023, so you will be able to replicate all the steps that I give you and revert back to classic mode regardless of the version that you have 2024 or 2023. The next one is that as of today classic mode does not ship with AutoCAD so I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take to replicate the old menu and layout of AutoCAD classic. All that you have to do is first start a new project so I'm just gonna go ahead and click new to start a new one this new drawing and you can either open it pre-existing one or just start a new drawing as I did here. Now the first step to revert AutoCAD 2024 or 2023 to classic mode is to click this arrow right here at the left side of share on the top of the screen and from the drop down menu that appears select show menu bar. The first thing that you will see here is the old menu bar. Now in order to hide all of these options that you see here click tools go into palettes and then click on ribbon. Now all of this ribbon menu that used to be at the top is going to go. You can bring it back if you wish by doing the same steps. So tools, palettes and then ribbon once again and they are going to reappear. But I'm going to assume that you want to take this away to change AutoCAD back to classic mode. Now the next thing that you have to do is to click tools once again, go into toolbars and now you can choose between AutoCAD or Express. Now there are plenty of toolbars that you can add to your screen. For this video I'm not going to go over all of them. You can take your time and carefully choose the ones that you wish to save to your screen. As you can see they're going to keep appearing here and you can change them at any time, adjust them as necessary and place them anywhere that you wish. I'm just going to place them at this side for demonstration. But like I said the process is super simple. Browse through all of the toolbars and choose whichever ones you need. Like I said you can also just click them once again to disable them. Once you are done selecting all the toolbars that you wish to add to your screen, the last thing that I recommend is that you go over to tools one more, one more time, go into workspaces and then save current workspace as. This will allow you to create a preset for this workspace. So you can go ahead and name something like AutoCAD Classic. And when you save this workspace, if for some reason it reverts back to the usual 2023 or 2024 look, you can just go ahead and open the preset that you have made right from this window. I hope I was able to help you on how to change AutoCAD 2023 to classic mode. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.